It's the top of the second. Halo's down by the score of three nothing, and it's our pleasure to welcome in the newest Angel Hall of Famer, Garrett Anderson. What's going on, Jay? Are you having fun tonight? Uh, yes, I am. Been pulled in a lot of different directions. <laughs> oh, I can imagine. I can imagine. Fantastic speech, by the Thank way. You. I mean, we've, we've gone it. through this in my seventh season with the Angels, and we've heard quite a few speeches. That was. Thank you. Inspiring speech, and I can Thank tell you. it touched you for a moment there that you yeah. had to yeah. Yeah. catch yeah. yourself. You know, it's hard for us men to deal with emotions. Yeah. So, yeah, I've uh, been going over it in my mind for the last few months, and uh, I put it down on paper yesterday and had it edited and went with it. Nice job. Thank you. Yeah, so, Gary, for all the things said about you, all the hits and everything else, what is the best moment you heard up there? I, 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 for me, it seems like the world champions of baseball being part of that team back in 2002 and what you did in Game 7. Um, for me personally, it's just – you know, I was a good teammate, and, and being a good teammate goes a long way with a lot of people. You know, if you go out and respect your teammates and pull for them and, you know, give them tough love when you have to, it goes a long way. And when you're with a group of guys for six months, you develop brothers, and uh, so that was the biggest compliment for me, saying that I was a good teammate. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, it was fun being your teammate. I, I, I used to sit there and, and talk with Rod Carew all day long, and he would just say, that is a perfect swing. And everyone said, when is he going to hit home runs? He says, who cares about home runs? He's an RBI machine. That's all you care about. <laughs> Speaking of swings, Gooby, how about the 2002 World Series? This, one, of course, the base is clearing. Double off of LeBron Hernandez. Still goosebumps? When you see a little that? bit, yeah. yeah. Little bit, I yeah. get it up. I get it up. The watching. story that people don't really know about is like, why would they throw you a fastball there? The first at bat, he threw me a curveball, and I killed it in the center field. Uh, there was a good catch out in the outfield, so I knew he was coming fastball at a bat. Why do you always have to set up pitchers? Why, why is it that way? Are we your friends? <laughs> why would why would they throw a fastball? And again, why would Dusty give the game ball to Russell Ortiz before the game was over, too? <laughs> Error by Anderson Simmons here. And uh, hopefully CJ's all right. He's just coming off to the sample list with a broken wrist. A little collision there with Torres. The Torres will reach on the air. Yeah, Boy, Simmons, I'm sure you saw him a number of times, GA. What a gifted shortstop. One yes, of the best we've is, seen is, yeah. in a long, long time. A little bit of a high throw there. Sometimes when you have too much time, it seems to be that's when you make those type of throws. You know, and a player like him, you expect him to make that play 100 out of 100 times. But when you play every day, sometimes it just happens. But, yes, it is fun and exciting. I have my son watch him. I said, if you want to watch anybody, watch this guy field and play his position. Is that the best part right now is watching your kids? They're at that age where you kind of get into their sports and kind of start guiding them. Because, I mean, the, the further and further you get away from actually putting on a uniform, I mean, obviously the focus shifts to, one, getting reacquainted with the family yeah. on a full-time basis yeah. and making sure that they still like you, yeah. but uh, kind of get into the kids and the sports. It, it's so much fun watching them. I just look forward to just watching them compete. Um, my daughter plays, one of them plays volleyball, and uh, I tell her, you know, I know nothing about volleyball, but I can tell you how to compete. And, and have a good, strong mental mind and competition. And the boy, I just let him play. You know, when he asks questions, we have a good report in the car after the game. Once we get home, that's it. Hey, so. By the way, how difficult is that as a dad now to watch your children? Because you can't, you can't do anything about it. You just sit there and watch because everyone's always looking at you to see what kind of reaction you're going to have. And I try to keep a blank face no matter what he does. I don't, want, I don't want him thinking, man, my dad's up there. He's killing me up there right now. You're not giving any signs or anything? No, that? no, Hands up, no. Nothing. I let him go. And you know it's what? Tough, we, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And, but it's, it's good for them. They have yeah. to find their own way. Gardner reaching on the fielder's choice to Kobe Ellsbury. 0 for 1. How fun is it to see the guys back together again, especially some of the uh, Euro 2 uh, team members? It's fun because you don't, those opportunities are not going to happen too often. So it was fun to see those guys. And instantly, that when people ask you, remember this, those are the times you remember the memories when you start seeing your teammates right. and the times that you went through. And obviously, one of the World Series, uh, it, it's what makes that bond even stronger. We have been having Percy and Kingfish give a speech for you up there, too. Tim, I could see doing it. Tim likes to talk. <laughs> Percy, on the other hand, you know, it, it, it's, it's kind of like you got to hold your breath. <laughs> but no, it's, uh, you know, I've known Percy so long, so I'm sure he probably didn't want to do it, but he knew he had to do it. it a good speech for. Uh, for person. Yeah, it was. And head it was. coach, too. Yeah, was, yeah, yeah. He, uh, <laughs> head coach. <laughs> of the guys of that old team, who would you have thought it would gone? Would Percy be the one at the top of the list? No. A head coach? <laughs> no. <laughs> the college. Not at all. Not by any means. Ursi, I can see being a coach. Yeah. Even Fish. But Percy, no. no. I can see him being a pitching coach and pitching coach saying, just go out there and throw it hard. Right. <laughs> just, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, man. I mean, what, what guys, I mean, you know, 
Chili Davis said some really good things about you there. I mean, Chili, he's, he, you know, we talk about how aggressive some teams are now in that first pitch. He's always been a guy that said, hey, if that first pitch is a fastball, be all over it. It should be a time. Yeah, he should, for sure. But, yeah, we, uh, I, I developed, uh, Chili took me under his wing my first big league camp. And just, uh, they put my locker, like I said, between Bo and Chili. I should have been in a, stuffed in a corner somewhere as a rookie, but they had me in between. <laughs> I was actually looking for my locker on the side where it should have been. And right. they say, no, it's over. Then I'm like, what? <laughs> so no, from the beginning, it was talking about hitting and, and just what you're thinking all the time. One ball, two strikes on Ellsbury with two outs. Before we let you go, and I know you're getting pulled every which way, you look out the left field and you see the uh, the letters GA emblazoned on the outfield grass. It's got to be pretty cool. It was pretty cool. And uh, Eric Hay sent, uh, I guess, a picture from uh, Instagram. So I saw it on the way to the park today. And, I thought it was cool. It's a, it's a you know, humbling gesture, you know, that someone will take time to do that for me. Well, we appreciate it, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. A well-deserved honor. And uh, you've always been a class act. And Thank just uh, love hanging around you all the time. And uh, congratulations to you and your family. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, this, this is a lot of fun. I mean, <laughs> just watching you, you know, just the way you play the game. It's such a cool moment for all of us that have known you for such a long period of time to see that smile on your face and the emotion. Like yeah. Victor said in your speech. Yeah, I, I have it in there. It's, it's tough to get out sometimes, but <laughs> there are certain situations you just can't hold it back. So you just take a time and pause. <laughs> well, we'll let you go, man, because I know you're busy. All right. And, but uh, thank you so much for stopping by. I know Angel fans sitting at home watching the game appreciate it. Ellsbury's going to line up. Why not? The GA. The GA. <laughs> we we, we, we choreographed this. this for sure. <laughs> That's why I was trying to finish talking quickly here so that we can let the play play out. All right. That's all for you, big guy. Thank you. Right, you, you guys have no limits up here. <laughs> <laughs>